this is a very standard mode one formula uh, in a way. Uh, it feels very much at home in this mode. I would say here, again, we have many indications of slowing down, kind of pensiveness, because the, the lines themselves don't have a lot of text. We probably don't need to break them up if we were just speaking them. We could speak et tolat crucem suam et sequatur me. It's not very long. But the way that it's set, we almost need to take a pause after take up your own cross, take up his own cross, and let it sink in for a second. And then, I follow him. So we have uh, one last bit of encouragement, and it's at that point, right before sequatur me, let him follow me, that we have the highest melodic point of the chant, and so the greatest sense of energy, perhaps even joy. So we're going to sing one more time through this entire chant. See again if you can hear some of what the chant composers, whoever they were, were helping us to understand about the spiritual meaning of this text. We This week I am going to be doing some traveling uh, business for our congregation, and so we won't be able to do a video for next week. We should be ready to go again by September 28th, posting our next communion video. And I'd like at this point to say thank you to all of you who subscribe, and uh, we hope that uh, the week without us won't be too difficult. And God bless you.